instructor of engineering from of Adam Scar Taylor, based in London. Adam Scar Taylor works with architects such as Zaha Hadid, Future Systems, FOA, who designs pretty challenging projects with complex uh, geometry. Under today's theme, complexity, uh, first I would like to revisit a brief history of the uh, current state of digital media in architecture in order to frame a counter argument towards the latent trend. The initial effort in architecture trying to incorporate digital media was, as it is usually the case with new technologies, rather opportunistic in exploring its formal potentials. Complexity became uh, one of the common themes associated with digital design, typically judging from the formal outcome. While it is true that digital media can open up complex information even beyond their perceptual capabilities, internal or external complexity is not sufficient in framing a direction or a goal. As a matter of fact, it is something undesirable in moving a design from a conceptual stage to a production, not only in terms of technical reasons, but also in terms of communication, economy, and so on and so, so, on and so forth. So, um, simplexity is a term in system theory, which is a branch of science that studies complexity. The term describes the emergence of simplicity out of intricate and complex set of rules, which we will employ as a guideline concept to our approach. So, in the concerning simplexity, uh, one one deals with computation, one knows very well that uh, algorithms that produce prolific forms are usually easier to implement than algorithms that uh, are concerned with simplification, selection, or filtering, which need to operate in a large system and have some more intelligence embedded. And uh, for us, simplexity is uh, the aesthetics of programming as a craft, which is uh, concerned more with the uh, uh, engagement of the designer and the thorough fine-tuning of the design system rather than creating prolific forms. Here, in, uh, for what we present at the exhibition in Syria, was a simplified version of the software we made. So now we remade it in a way that is more user-friendly for visitors to use. Uh, as we said, we work in a uh, structural engineering field, and uh, there we had the challenge to find ways to Preconditioned design space with the information that the engineers use, and uh, one such information is the principal st uh, stress tensor field. In uh, our goal was to in to integrate both uh, structural information and design intention, as given from our architect clients, and make a well uh, negotiated solution out of them. And we'll give some examples later. This was a, just kind of a small project to design a life stage with such kind of, yeah. So that was the result of the first life stage, so some compression stress lines become a compression ring that holds the whole thing together. And the topology of the cables comes out of the stress lines that are in tension within the box, within the volume of material. We more and more engage with the stress field as a design tool. We start developing an intuition, of, an intuition about what kind of uh, configurations of support and loads give you what kind of topologies in space. And, uh, here you can see, for example, within a volume of material, different supports and uh, loads, and below the compression rings that are formed by the principal stress directions and the tension. Similar process has been used uh, to design framing solutions over shells, which is always a challenge because engineers would usually just impose a very rigid orthogonal grid, which usually clashes with the geometry. And here we see for a shell and different support conditions, different uh, networks of curves that can be used as uh, framing solutions. And uh, this uh, is a result also of the fact that uh, Architecture and engineering has drifted apart, but uh, they now they start using 
tools that have a similar underlying representation. And this gives an opportunity to integrate again their concerns to better to achieve better results. So the idea of complexity can be discussed in a larger context where the design community is embedded in. That is the architectural production system. So considering the current social con condition as a complexity, simplexity of architectural production systems should emerge as a result of um, partial pressure of the subject to the system like us. And uh, we'll show a couple of projects that we tried to do the one of the one of the projects is with a Sanhedrin architect, um, the big museum in Azerbaijan and it has thousands and thousands of panels. And basically, what we tried to do is like this is an early design stage, so we were trying to analyze the panels and um, see what we can do to uh, negotiate between the design intentions, fabrication constraints, and the uh, cost relationship. So this is one of the surface for the architect's uh, model. We have a, we expose a lot of parameters to like decide the size of the hiding, what angle of deviation is desirable, and for example, what panels can be considered flat, which one has to be double curved or single curved. And this kind of, a, we build this kind of interface because we need, our main goal is to communicate with the architects and uh, fabricators and other parties involved. So basically we can like, as we analyze this geometry, we can discuss and decide on what kind of a result you would like to make. And this is a quick one for a competition. Basically, the architects wanted to make a pretty um, weird geometry in, in the middle of the, um, some plaza. And uh, there was a big issue of like uh, surrounding buildings is getting glare. So we did a quick analysis for which part of the, to figure out which part of the, the surface needs to be sanded. But um, one of the issue of working with architects, well, as being an architect, is uh, uh, how architects perceive themselves. The term architecture has been conceived in philosophy as realization of design qua idea, whereas architecture practice is an event per excellence ex exposed to contingencies. So like how we embrace con contingencies become really important Whereas like somehow it's seen as like every time let's say engineers put a frame on it as if like um, it's the design is getting painted by this effect. So this is like uh, one project with future systems. It's a little house in Dublin where they have a doubly curved roof surface dipping in the middle to form an atrium. The concern for the architects was to have a pattern over the surface, but they couldn't handle the, the scaling and such. And also like from the engineering point of view, it was important for the pattern distribution to be respecting the force flow over the geometry. So we decided to use this algorithm called the global periodic parameterization, where we can input a principal stress field as um, we showed previously. And then the, the algorithm generates a mesh that is quasi isometric and also tries to follow the field as much as possible. And also, like because we kind of frame the problem of this project in such a way, every time when architects had to change the geometry because of like let's say planning or uh, other kind of insurance issues, or for example in this case they had to introduce a. Um, joint <laughs> joint in order for the transportation, we can build the system, incorporate the, for example, in this case, distance map field to overlay with the stress, principal stress field in order to negotiate this kind of uh, concerns raised by different parties. 